Hello, this is the day 10 in the packet, but we're going to make it day 11. So for today, we have a math page, similar to yesterday's, and then you are using the story checklist again to edit your page, your writing. So let's see, I'll do a few of the math problems with you. Um, so let's see, the first one is 10 plus 1. So for that one, we can just count on 10, and then the next number is 11. Um, let's see. I'll come over here and do some of these that you have to find the part again. So for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, you're finding the missing part, not the total. So let's see. We have 11 and we have to get to 12. So how do we get from 11 to 12? We're going to count on 11, 12. We only needed one. So we're going to write one. <clears throat> 11 plus blank equals 13. So same thing, we're going to start at 11, and we're going to count on 11, 12, 13, 2. Then I'll do some of these down here with you as well. Um, let's see, 6 plus 29, oops, sorry, 6 plus blank equals 29. So for this one to count up, the numbers are kind of far apart, so that could take a while. So what I'm going to do is actually count down. I'm going to start at 29 and I'm going to count down. So 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. And I'm going to stop at 23 because that's counting down six numbers and that's what we need. So 23. And then I'm going to go back and check my work. So I'm going to do 23, and I'm going to count up 6 to make sure it equals 29. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And I'm going to do the same thing for this last problem. 5 plus blank equals 39. So let's see. I'm going to start at 39, and I'm going to count down 5. So 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. And now I'm going to add 5 and 34 together to check my work. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay. <clears throat> so... Our math is just adding today, looking at all of the symbols, all the problems are addition, and then using your story checklist for your writing today. So for this one, the directions say use the checklist to edit your writing. Use a crayon to trace the capital letters in green, just like it is here. <clears throat> the punctuation, which is in red, that's here. And underline the characters, the setting, problem, and solution. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to look at all of your sentences and you're going to find the first word and make sure that first letter is a capital letter. And you're going to trace it in green. Then you're going to go through your story and you're going to check your power words. Did I spell all of my power words correctly? Then you're going to go through your story and you're going to check for your punctuation for the periods, an exclamation mark, question marks, commas, and you're going to trace those in red. And if you forgot to do some of these things, now you're going to fix it. Then you're going to go through and you're going to underline your characters. in orange. In yellow, you're going to underline your setting. 
in blue, you're going to underline the problem. And purple, you're going to underline the solution. Okay. I will also put a picture up on Class Dojo with the day's goals to show you what that should look like, okay? It's also in my video from last week. So you can also go back and look at that video as well where I go through and I underline and I fix my whole story.